I'm going to show you how to make a tea card. Like I did the other card. Do a five by five. You want to make it smaller, you can. You can make it a four by four if you want. I'm going to cut it at five inches. If you don't have a paper cutter, then you can do this with scissors and get your ruler in. There you go. Five by five. Fold it. This is the base of your card. I'm just using my bone folder to get uh, crisper edges. Then you're going to take your cardstock, some decorative cardstock. Pick any design you want. I'll use this one. So I'm making it as a Mother's Day card. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut this diagonal, but let me cut the edge off of here. Now what I'm going to do, since you want to do this diagonal, you go from edge to edge, diagonal, like that. If you're going to cut it with scissors, just cut it across. I'm going to do it with my, um, I'm going to do it with my paper cutter. And then you got, see, they're both the same size. Make sure your card opens like that. Now, it's going to lap over, but you can cut that off with scissors. Now, if you want to make it two different designs, which I probably may do, like I did on the other one. Do you like that? Some glue on there. Use. You can use uh, any kind of glue that'll hold paper. Just to make sure it sticks good. This is crafting glue, but you you can use any kind of like Elmer's glue. Okay, so. Let's edge, let's put that on there even. You don't have a bone folder, just use your fingers. And see now, you just take your scissors and cut across the edge here. I don't think I'm going to... I don't know. I'm going to find some solid color there. Yeah, I think I like that better. 
and you can uh, do like this. So I'm going to do like that. Do you like that? And save these pieces of paper now because you can use them on another for something else. Now what I'm going to do now this part right here I'm going to put it up just a little bit more. You're not going to glue the whole thing. You're just going to glue around this part. Here's your tea bag. Now, if you don't want to put tea in it, and you want to give your mom a gift card, and she don't like tea, you can always put the gift card in there like that. I'm going to... Cut a little bit off of here like this because I don't want it too long. Now let me show you what you're going to do here. Just the edge. That's all you need to do. Put the edge here. Even it up. Sorry, the TV is on. I'm watching um, Chicago MD. It's Chicago night here. Chicago MD, Chicago Fire, and then Chicago PD. Now, I'm going to add just a little bit right here. But you don't want to glue it all the way around because you want to be able to put the tea bag in there. Here you go. From lay it off on the edge. Just make sure you don't cut the end part. You don't want to cut the end of the hard and then make sure if it's not even there then just trim off the edge and then you can put the tea bag in there once it dries like that and then put your embellishment at the bottom happy mother's day I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll finish the card you can put a border across here if you have some thicker borders or you have some ribbon just adds to it I'm gonna add that have to add some glue to the edge here. Let's see right there. And I have 
to let the glue dry. Just press down on the ribbon. When I put it at the edge, this glue will dry clear. You want to make sure that you get glue that will dry clear for this part. Gluing the paper down, it just be plain old Elmer's glue or the kind that you can get at Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm going to let this dry so it will adhere on before I cut the ribbon off. So I'm going to press it down. And then I print it off on my computer. I just type that in. If you can find the um, stamps that say Happy Mother's Day, like these are stamps and then a stamping block. You can get stamps and stamping block at the Dollar Tree. These aren't Dollar Tree stamps but I've had them for a, a long time and the blocks I got off of the blocks off of Amazon but yeah if you have a printer you can print it off on your computer and write out Happy Mother's Day and then you can either you can put it down there, down here, you can put it up here if you want. Either way you want to, I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put this like this. You don't have a, like I said, if you don't have one of these fun folder knives, then to put, spread it out. Just use your fingers. Move that over here for right now. Let me show you if you don't know how to use a stamping block in stamps. I got this, uh, I've had this ink for a while. It's called Versafine, but you can get any black ink you want. I got that on, on Amazon. It's been a while ago. And since this is going to be a tea card, I'm going to stamp out the, these coffee cups. You press down on that real good. Get all of that out. Now, with your stamps, make sure that you wipe them off with a wet cloth so the ink don't dry on there. But you're going to take it. See if you can see. You're going to press down like this. Press it down real good. Now this is good ink and you know a tip, keep it upside down like that and then the ink will run to the front of the pad. Now pull it up like that and see it comes out clear. You can color it any color you want. I'm done coloring it. Now what I'm going to do is just cut around it. I'm going to do the along the 
the plate. And then I'm just going to cut around the top like that. these little scissors they're detailing scissors and they work better for stuff like this But if you don't have to do it like this, if you don't want to, these detailing scissors are from Dollar Tree too, and they they work really good. I'm just gonna cut this ribbon off like that. There we go. And if you uh, don't have stamps. You can add stickers to this if you have stickers. If you want, it's up to you. So I'm going to glue this on there. And I'm going to put it right there. Right there. And then I'm going to add some more to that. Yes, this is called Stickles. It's glitter glue, but it's much better than glitter glue like you get at... It's better than the glitter glue you get like at Walmart at the Dollar Tree has glitter glue but this stuff I love the way it dries it dries fairly quick it don't take a lot of it and the dimension that it adds is just it's it's really good I'm just gonna go around these hearts I got some red stickles you can get this on um, Amazon but let you know it it's a little bottle I can't read it it's too small writing it's a small bottle you can see in my hand but it's it's probably about three or four dollars for a small bottle it might be more now because I've had this for a while. I'm going to let this dry. It'll be dry in a couple of hours. It's just a simple card, and then you can write something inside, or stamp something. You, I'm gonna just, I'll write a note in it. You want to give your mother a gift card? This is just a regular card I have. You can put it in there like that. If she likes herbal tea. then you can put it in there like that
And there you've got a little T card. Or you can a gift card holder. You can give her tea and a gift card. And then she'll love her little homemade card. And that's it on the, how to make the, I think it's called a tea card. I'm not 100% sure, but I am thinking that's what they called it was a tea card.